Have you ever found yourself trying to run a script only to realize you need to bridge the gap between Swift and JXA? It can be a bit tricky, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to run JXA from Swift. I totally get it. You have this string variable with JXA source code and you want to execute it from Swift. It can be frustrating when you find out that NS Apple Script only works with Apple Script. You're definitely not alone in this struggle. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I run JXA from Swift if I have a string variable with JXA source code? This is a common scenario for developers looking to integrate different scripting languages. Let's explore how to tackle this. So what's the issue here? JXA or JavaScript for automation is a powerful tool, but it doesn't directly integrate with Swift. Understanding how to bridge these two can unlock a lot of potential in your applications. Let's break it down and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can make your scripting life a whole lot easier. To run JavaScript for automation, or JXA, from Swift, the user first needs to create a string variable that contains the JXA source code. This is the code that will be executed. Next, the user should utilize the NSAppleScript class to execute the JXA code. However, since NSAppleScript is designed for AppleScript, we will use a different approach. To execute the JXA code, the user can use the NSAppleScript class. They will need to handle any potential errors that may arise during execution. Finally, the user should check the output or any errors that occurred during the execution. This will help ensure that the JXA code ran successfully. Fun fact, did you know that JXA was introduced in OSX Yosemite? It was a game changer for automating tasks on macOS using JavaScript. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that JXA may not be the best choice. They recommend using the JavaScript Core Objective-C API for running JavaScript code, as it is cleaner and easier. If you need to control Apple scriptable applications, they advise sticking with AppleScript, which is the officially supported method. They also mention Swift automation as an option, but express skepticism about its support due to Apple's management of Mac automation. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always clean up your temporary files after execution to keep your system tidy and avoid clutter. And there you have it. You can now run JXA from Swift with ease. Remember, integrating different languages can open up new possibilities in your projects. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video on advanced scripting techniques.